Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, so welcome to the lecture of this finite volume method. Now, if you put these things back in the algorithm, what will happen? So, first thing that I will have u1 j equals to a1 j for which j goes from 1 to n, then I get l i 1 equals to a i 1 by u 1 1, where i goes from 2 to n. So, these two elements initially uh, are being computed and then you go over loop for i goes 2 to n minus 1, then u i j equals to a i j minus k equals to 1 to i minus 1 l i k u k j, where j goes from i i plus 1 so on n. And the lower triangular system is a, a k i minus summation of j equals to 1 to i minus 1 l k j u j i where k goes from i plus 1 i plus 2 so on n. So, that is where the loop closes and finally, you get u n n equals to a n n minus i goes to n minus 1 l n i u i 1. So, that is how the whole algorithm works. Then you obtain from A getting decomposed into two component lower and upper triangular system. And once you get that, then you have to get the solution for that. So, now the steps which are required is the substitution step. Okay. So, now my A got into L and U, one is lower and upper triangular system and first need to calculate the vector C. So, that through forward substitution process, where you get C 1 equals to B 1 and C i equals to B i minus j equals to 1 to i minus 1 L i j C j, where goes to 2, 3 to n. So, that is where you get the and the next step you get the values of phi by back substitution process which will be phi n equals to C n divided by u n n and phi i equals to C i minus j equals to i plus 1 to n u i j phi j divided by u i i. So, where i goes n minus 1 n minus 2 to 2 1 like that. So, initially first step this is your first step 
where you get the forward substitution to get the vector c and the second step you do the backward substitution to get the. So, the essentially you had a equals to l u and where this was solved for b and it was written l u c equals to b and from there you get the solution. Now, the important points are few here like the elements of this L and U can be directly stored in the matrix A if it is no longer needed. This is because that A are only needed when the corresponding elements of either L or U are calculated. So, the number of operation required to perform here the number of operation which are required to perform for LU factorization for a system of n by n is 2 something n cube by 3. So, which is double the operation that is required to solve through the Gauss elimination process. Again the advantage of this LU factorization is that when the same matrix A applies to different B, then no need to calculate L and U factorizations again and again the coefficients just can be directly applied to. So, which makes the solver more efficient. Now, one can obtain this LU factorization through Gauss elimination process. So, LU decomposition by Gauss elimination. So, that is another way of obtaining the thing and so this is sometimes can be also used in some CFD codes. Now, if you look at that algorithm how you do that you have simple u 1 j equals to a 1 j where j goes from 1 to n. Now, you go over loop for k equals to 1 to n minus 1 you obtain i equals to k plus 1 to n where l i k equals to a i k divided by a k k and then here you start then you get for j goes from k plus 1 to n you i j equals to a i j minus l i k multiplied with a k j. Then you closes that loop which will get you this information and then the upper one and the last one. So, that is where the Gauss elimination process can be also used. Now, the important point, so this is possible all this Gauss elimination or LU factorizations when you have a generic E. Now, one can look at this method for or rather the direct approach for banded sparse matrices. So, this would be very specific case because what we have discussed so far is in more generic approach because irrespective of what is the property of A, we did the Gauss elimination or we could do the LU factorization. Now, when you say that the banded sparse matrices that means the matrix A which is sitting here it could be looking either some sort of a band like that or some sort of a band like that or so the solvers which can be used for this case cannot be generalized for the elimination process. In this category the first one which we will talk about is the 
tri diagonal matrix algorithm which is called TDMA and what happens this algorithm is known as the Thomas algorithm and it is a very common and old algorithm which was I mean or rather often discussed in any CFD, but it has some specific application for a particular banded system like trigonal system this is one of the efficient solver. How you get it let us say you consider this cell like that starts from I you have 2, 1, 3, 4 these are the points and so on you get n, n minus 1. So, number of points n and then the cell centers value. So, the coefficient matrix for this kind of system if one has to write a i phi i plus b i phi i plus 1 c i phi i minus 1 equals to d i where i goes from 1 to dot 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 n c 1 0. So, what one can do? for i equals to 1 you can directly solve this equation a 1 phi 1 equals to minus b 1 phi 2 plus d, d 1 which you can see phi 1 can be solved minus b 1 by a 1 by phi 2 plus d 1 by a 1. Similarly, for i 2 if one has to write he will get a 2 phi 2 equals to minus b 2 phi 3 c 2 phi 1 plus d 2 which will get you the equation for phi 2 which is minus a 1 b 2 a 1 a 2 minus c 2 b 1 into phi 3 plus d 2 a 1 minus c 2 d 2 uh, d 1 divided by a 1 a 2 c 2 b 1. So, if one generalize this then one can write phi i equals to p i phi i plus 1 plus q i. So, that is the generic formula for any i where i goes from 1 to 2 n. Now, if you combine with the equation i plus 1 then p i minus 1 equals to p i minus 1 plus q i minus 1 a i phi i plus b i phi i plus 1 plus c i phi i minus 1 equals to d i. So, from here you get phi i equals to b i a i plus c i p i minus 1 phi i plus 1 plus d i minus c i q i minus 1 divided by a i plus. So, that is what you get. Now, if you compare this one and the previous one, you can see that P i is nothing but B i divided by A i plus C i P i minus 1 and Q i is D i minus C i Q i minus 1 by a i my plus c i p i minus 1. In both these cases i goes from 1 to 2 n. Now, for i equals to 1 
you can get P 1 equals to minus B 1 by A 1 and Q 1 equals to D 1 by A 1. And similarly, for I equals to N, you get since B N equals to 0, you get P N equals to 0, phi N equals to Q N. So, that is how the algorithm works actually for a system like that you can if you put in the algorithm then it would be quite handy for this kind of banded system. Now, the second one which could be also of interesting is the penta diagonal penta diagonal matrix algorithm which actually talks about P D M A. Previous one was the T D M A, this case called the P D M A and again this one you get. See the T D M A one can obtain if somebody discretize the diffusion equation in one dimension. Now, one someone discretize the diffusion equation in two dimensional system, he gets essentially this kind of a pinter diagonal system. That means, not three, you have five banded system. So, this is called the pinter diagonal system, and in two dimensional, the diffusion equation discretization can lead to this kind of situation. Now, once you get this kind of a PDMA, so you can have a very specific solver which can actually be used for this kind of solution. And if one uses the notation, very standard notation, and like the one which we have used here, the i goes from 1 to n, then the equation system for pendant diagonal system would be a i phi i plus b i phi i plus 2 plus c i phi i plus 1 plus d i phi i minus 1 plus e i i minus 2 equals to f i, where i goes 1, 2 to n. If you see the base variable at i, it is equally distributed between i plus 1, i minus 1, i plus 2, i minus 2 and there are coefficients associated with it. So, this is the equation which has the five points i, i plus 1, i plus 2, i minus 1, i minus 2 that leads to a pendant diagonal system. This is called the 5 point stencil and which is this particular one is subjected to d 1 equals to e 1 equals to e 2 equals to 0 and b n minus 1 equals to b n equals to c n equals to also 0. So, it has very specific system. Now, if you write for i equals to 1, this particular one, it gives you back phi 1 equals to minus b 1 by a 1 phi 3 minus c 1 by a 1 phi 2 plus f 1 by a 1. Now, similarly for i equals to 2, the phi 2 can be obtained minus a 1 b 2 divided by a 1 a 2 minus d 2 c 1 minus. So, this is multiplied by phi 4 minus a 1 c 2 minus b 1 d 2 divided by a 1 a 2 minus d 2 c 1 phi 
3 plus a 1 f 2 minus d 2 f 1 by a 1 a 2 minus d 2 c 1. So, this essentially you put the values of i in this equation and then you start obtaining individual ones. So, if this way one can proceed then you can write an generic expression for phi. So, in generalized form or rather generic form one can write that phi i equals to p i phi i plus 2 plus q i phi i plus 1 plus r i. So, which goes for a loop i equals to 1 2 2 n. Now, you compute phi i minus 1 and phi i minus 2 using this equation. So, essentially using this you compute that and then from there you obtain phi i i equals to it would be b i a i. So, with a minus sign sitting there a i plus e i p i minus 2 plus d i plus e i q i minus 2 q i minus 1 phi i plus 2. So, that is the first term and the second term would be minus c i plus d i plus e i q i minus 2 into p i minus 1 divided by a i plus e i p i minus 2 plus d i e i q i minus 2 q i minus 1 into i plus 1 plus f i minus e i r i minus 2 minus d i plus e i q i minus 2 r i minus 1 divided by a i plus e i p i minus 2 plus d i e i q i minus 2 q i minus 1. So, you get an generic expression for phi i or the ith element of that component. Now, if you compare this one with this equation, so this is one equation for phi i and here is an expression which we have written the generic expression and if you compare them together you get p i is essentially nothing but minus b i by a i plus e i p i minus 2 plus d i q i minus 1. Similarly, one can write q i equals to minus it is c i plus d i e i q i minus 2 p i minus 1 and in the denominator you have the same expression e i p i minus 2 plus d i plus e i q i minus 2 q i minus 1 and the last one is the r i which is f i minus e i r minus 2 d i plus e i q i minus 2 
into r i minus 1. So, and the denominator is the same a i plus e i plus d i q i minus 1. Now, with for i equals to 1 and 2 which can get you the specific expression like p 1 equals to minus b 1 by a 1, q 1 equals to minus c 1 by a 1, r 1 equals to f 1 by a 1. Same thing you can get p 2 equals to minus b 2 divided by a 2 plus d 2 q 1, q 2 equals to minus c 2 plus d 2 p 1. and R 2 equals to F 2 minus D 2 R 1 divided by A 2 plus D 2 Q 1. So, in this particular expression if you put I equals to 1 or 2 you can get back this specific numbers and since you have b n minus 1 equals to b n equals to c n equals to 0 which will actually lead to p n minus 1 p n equals to q n equals to 0. So, from here one can find out phi n minus 1 and phi n can be found using this information and what could be that once you get these two phi n equals to r n and phi n minus 1 equals to q n minus 1 q n plus r n minus 1. So, the specific ones one can compute. So, all these expressions if you put it back in the system then you can get the. So, the compute algorithm if somebody sees you first compute p 1, q 1, r 1, p 2, q 2 and r 2 and then what you do for i goes from 3, 4 to n use forward recursion to compute the values of p i, q i and r i. Then you compute phi n and phi n minus 1 and then finally, for i n minus 2 to 3 to 1 you use backward recursion to compute the values of q i. So, that is the essentially complete painter diagonal algorithm. So, what you get first you obtain this specific one p 1 q 1 r 1 p 2 all these expressions and then you go for the forward recursion and once you get go for the forward recursion as we have obtained here all these p i q i r i you obtain and once you obtain all these you go and calculate the phi n and phi n minus 1 using this and then finally, you go for the 
backward recursion to compute the value of QI. So, this is this completes the algorithm for the pentadiagonal. So, these are the discussion on direct approach. Now, in the next lecture, we carry on on the iterative process. Thank you.